Hi, everybody. I mean, can you believe this? Look who I have here with me today. It is the real Rosie <laughs> Huntington Whiteley. It's not a fake person. It is Rosie. Thanks, Rosie, for coming. Thank here you for today. having me, Monica. So, I did a tutorial on Rosie today, and she brought her amazing, beautiful new product. It's called Rosie for Autograph. And we also used a few different products uh, just to kind of mix it up. And I wanted to show you guys how to create the rosy look. And something I do a lot on rosy for red carpet events. I just did you yesterday for the Saint Laurent show. And a lot of you have asked me to recreate this look. Rosie, I'm so impressed with the line. It's gorgeous. Thank you. That means a lot. That really does mean a lot coming from you. Monica was one of the very first people I met when I moved to LA. And... Not only have I worked with her for this long, but she's also become a really good friend of mine. And I'm thrilled to be here. And I'm so excited about your YouTube channel. I'm a big fan, as you know. Thank you. And uh, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. All right, so I'm starting with my first product on your rosy. It's the Rosie for Autograph Amazing Radiance Cream. When you apply it, it's almost like a moisturizer and it makes a really great base before you're applying foundation and it has beautiful like little shimmer in it. It's great for wearing underneath foundation as your base layer uh -huh. and actually on those kind of days when I'm just running out the door and I don't have Could long just... to get ready, I actually just wear it on its own with a little bit of concealer to cover any blemishes okay. or under my eyes. The next product is this foundation here by Lorek. It's the Sheer Perfection Foundation. I really like this foundation because it's oil-free and it's really light on, on your skin and it just gives a really nice sheer effect. It's not too heavy and you know, Rosie, I know that you love makeup but also when it comes <laughs> to foundation you're not somebody who likes to really mask um, the skin. You, you always like when and kind of like your skin kind of shines through. Yeah, I love to feel, you know, just feel na as natural as possible. Yeah. I mean, like you said, I love makeup and uh, and everything, but I think it's important that you, for me, that I still great. feel my skin and I still want to touch it. Yeah. And... The next step would be your eyebrows, Rosie. This is like a good old staple of ours. I know that you love this product. This here is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia. And I like doing the brows after foundation because it kind of frames your face. And then I kind of see where I want to go with your eye makeup. Um, I'm going to start, but you know, you are somebody like you just do your eyebrows perfectly yourself. <laughs> and I actually, I always kind of start a little bit by just doing my thing. And then I usually give the product to you and I have you do them because... You're pretty particular with your brows. I am particular. But I love I love this pencil in particular as well because it's it's so fine you can kind of feather on the the this, product yeah. really light. It's really easy to use. The next product um, you love is this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Yeah. So you're not really so much into like a tinted um, brow gel. We always use a clear one on you. I like a clear one if you're going to fill them in with a pencil yeah. or a powder beforehand. And I actually, um, I like a tinted one if you're kind of really in a rush and you just want to comb it through your brows. Yeah. But I find you get more of a precision and controlled yeah. uh, brow if you do it with a pencil first and then a clear gel. This product here is a rosy for autograph. It's an eye shadow stick or a cream eye shadow stick and the color is called Sparkle and Magic. <laughs> <laughs> I really love this because it's a cream eyeshadow and I love things which are easy. Like you can literally just like take it and like put it all over your eyelid and it's creamy and it's a it makes a fantastic base for eyeshadow or for us women on the go when we don't have a lot of time we can just use this by itself with a little bit of mascara and you're out the door. The next product um, I'm going to show you is this beautiful eyeshadow quad by Rosie again and uh, the color is called Deco Diamonds and they come in four different we palettes. We've got four palettes yeah. and this one as you said is called Deco Diamonds and this one was all inspired by my love for kind of vintage and antique jewellery and so the colours are sort of antique-y um, jewellery tones, silvers and a couple of little taupes and gold tones. So I'm using this colour right now and I'm also going to use this one a little bit on the outer corners but I've actually used it yesterday for the first time. 
I worked with Rosie and we did a red carpet and I was so impressed with this eyeshadow. It photographed beautifully. All right, so I just used that color. I'm gonna bring in the lightest one and I'm gonna use that underneath your brows, just for a little bit of highlight. That's got to be one of my favorite tricks. Right? When you bring a little bit of highlighter underneath, right underneath the eyebrow, it just opens it. up the eye so much and really defines your brow and defines your eye. All right, so I'm gonna just bring the darker tone again right in here on my MAC 217 brush and I'm just kind of contouring Rosie's eye on the outer corner and basically right here this is the reverse V just add a bit more contour and we'll bring it into the socket it's almost like you're contouring your face you're contouring your eye just giving it a bit more shape all right so the next product is uh, the Rosie for autograph uh, liquid liner this is fantastic. It's a pen form, and uh, I'm just gonna put that really closely to Rosie's lash line, and then I'm gonna also, you know, bring it outwards a bit. I'm gonna definitely do like a sexy kind of feline flick, and for that, if you open your eye, Rosie, look at me. Um, I like to kind of position how far I wanna go outwards. So I make a little bit of a dot, and then I bring it back inwards, and then I can sort of like you know, decide on where I want the liner to go. But I love a feline flick, don't you? It's my favorite. I just think that that is like such a rosy look. And, you know, I love that. It just gives a nice little, you know, sexy kind of kitten eye. And it always looks good on the carpet, doesn't it? I think it also always looks good on everybody. It's a, it's a look that suits almost everybody's face. And it draws the eyes out, it really features them, it makes them sultry and sexy. The next step would be mascara. And I'm actually gonna let you do this. This one is the uh, Dior Show Iconic Mascara, which um, I'm a big fan of. Rosie loves this mascara. I love that mascara too. It just has such a good brush, doesn't it? It's silicone. And I just love that you can get really close to your lash line with it. And it's really super black. All right, so I just put some uh, individual lashes into Rosie's eyes off camera really quickly, just some short ones by Ardell. And uh, now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. I like doing my concealer after I'm done with eye makeup, especially, you know, we just used a lot of black and sometimes it transfers down and then you have to clean up again. So I'm doing it now. And I'm actually using two concealers. One which Rosie loves is this NARS one. It's one of my favorites. The color custard is perfect for your skin tone. And then just to like brighten it up a little bit even more for the inner corners, I'm using Rosie's product. And this is in the shade number two. And with the NARS custard one, I like to just kind of like do it directly out of the bullet. And it has like this really nice little sponge applicator. So I'm just putting it right underneath your eyes. And I'm, I almost like, like highlighting your face with it. So I also like to put it on the bridge of your nose and also right here a little bit on the forehead. And then I take my IT brush and I just blend it in. And then I go in with Rosie's concealer, just kind of like in the inner corners. I'm obsessed with them, with this, this Miracle so Concealer. Great. And it's really great for being on the go because it's a twist up tube and can just be applied straight onto the skin. Oh my gosh, it's so fantastic. I've and been look using it, it just... lately and it feels almost like it's like a magic eraser. You just put it on and it's just so smooth and creamy and it just blends perfectly. Fantastic. All right, the next step is to do a bit of contour on Rosie, which is one of my favorite things to do on you. Um, and I'm super excited to use this rosy uh, product here. It's uh, it's called the Killer Contour. And again, it's like perfect because it comes in this really beautiful chubby stick. It's so easy. You can just directly out of the bullet, kind of like, you know, apply your contour where you want it. And then you use a brush to kind of blend it in. The color is really nice too. And I like to just first kind of you know, contour the cheek just to bring out a bit more cheekbone. And then I also like to go into your jawline. I'm just gonna bring in a little bit of a press powder. I love this one here by Shantikai. It's the HD uh, Perfecting Powder. And the reason why I love it is because 
it really does the trick it takes the shine away but it doesn't look like powder i hate when you can like really see that it's too powdered you know so this one is just super natural and i'm just doing the t-zone my hourglass product right here and this one is called the luminous bronze light and rosie and i are obsessed love with this, this bronze. product yeah yes. and i like it because it is actually two in one right it's mm -hmm. a bronze and it has a beautiful highlight, highlight in it so i'm just going to put that on a fluffy brush something like that here by bobby brown and i'm just kind of doing it naturally in round strokes you know all over the cheeks this one is a cream blusher and the color is English Rose Flush. And it's a creamy um, formulation, right, Rosie? But it kind of... Blends out as a powder, which makes it really kind of easy to use, really velvety. Yeah. And they come in four different colors, these uh, cream mm -hmm. blushes. I'm a big fan, as you I know, do of love cream blush. cream blush. So I just like to just almost just dab it in there ever so slightly. It just kind of like warms up the eye makeup, doesn't it? Yeah, and opens up. Now, last step, Rosie, is your famous lips. <laughs> I mean, everyone always is asking me as a makeup artist, like, what is Rosie wearing on her lips? So right now, we're using a lip liner. This one here is by Makeup Forever. And then we're going to use a rosy color, which is really similar to her natural lip color. Now, I'm going to let you apply your own lip liner. But I also want to mention that sometimes on the red carpet, because your lips have such a good coloration, that sometimes we do, you know, make them a bit more like on the neuter side. I think a lot of people are scared with lip liner. And can we just tell people that it's so Duh. important to use a lip liner? I honestly think lip liner is one of the most right? transformative pieces of makeup you can have. And This lipstick has many different shades, but I think that that is such a rosy color. We have 12 different shades, and this one is called Lady Rose, Lady Rose. and it's actually inspired by really my own lip color, it so it's just it kind really of an is. enhancement of my lips anyway. This is your color. It's amazing. So everybody who wants that rosy lip, go and <laughs> buy that one. <laughs>